This was the hardest battle in Pokemon history. So Pokemon Legends Arceus came out recently and I've been really enjoying the game. I have a few complaints about it and I talk about it in a previous video, but overall I've had very positive experiences with the game. Oh, by the way, there's spoilers ahead, so if you haven't beaten the game or post-game stuff, I would recommend you doing so and then coming back to the video. So the post-game is basically a legendary catch-a-thon. In the post-game, you have to gather 17 of these plates. Each plate correlates to a specific Pokémon type. After gathering the 17 plates, we head to the top of Mount Coronet, to the Temple of Sinnoh. This is the very place that we recently fought Dialga and Palkia, and it seems very fitting to bring everything together and return to this special location. Here we meet Volo, the friendly, unassuming merchant of the Ginkgo Guild. As he congratulates us on collecting the 17 plates, he explains that he, in fact, has the 18th plate, the plate that corresponds to the ghost type. Things quickly start to unravel as he begins to explain his dark, twisted plan. This whole time, he was using us to bring him the plates so he could then summon Arceus. His plan? Use Arceus to bring about a brand new, perfect world. Sounds familiar, right? I guess he would then rule as God or something? Uh, I don't know. Basically, he turns into Light Yagami from Death Note and goes absolutely insane. Literally threatens us with bodily harm if we don't hand over the plates. So basically, in the end, he challenges us to a Pokemon fight, and that's where things get crazy. I'm f Spiritomb? What if he has Cynthia's team? So the spirit tomb went down easily enough, despite my Crobat being 10 levels lower than it. I should also point out that I had two underleveled shinies in my party at the time that I was trying to level, so I was in no way ready for this fight. Okay, Garchomp, go! He then brought out an Arcanine, which uh, I was able to swap to Garchomp and take it down to back-to-back -back bulldozes. Simple enough so far, I suppose hair like and he like he's got Cynthia's he looks like a male version of Cynthia to he's got toga kiss well he did wait we fought him at the beginning of the game and he had a toga pee oh do I do it maybe a strong style uh, Zen headbutt finishes it let's try oh okay just like that, three of his Pokemon were down. Only three remained. Snorlax was hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Palkia was probably not so safe. And my other party members were two underleveled shinies. Things weren't looking so hot. Strong style Earth Power one shot it. I could try to revive Garchomp or something. Garchomp? Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. That's gonna hurt. And he used Agile Style. No, bro. Come on. Don't do me like this. Golbat! It's all you, buddy. I do have a Max Revive. Who do I use it on? I think it's gotta be Palkia. As long as we don't get one shot by Garchomp. No, oh, Golbat! My shiny boy! Why? Okay, can I one-shot him with Spatial Rend? Let's find out. Yeah! Alright, this is his last Pokemon. Let's see what it is. And just like that, five of his six Pokemon were down. Only one remained. That was his Roserade, which I really wasn't too concerned about. I figured Palkia could get the job done here. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Spatial Rend? I'm gonna go do a Spatial Rend. Please one-shot. Oh! I think I win, though. I think I win! Holy shit. I did it. Victory was mine. I defeated Volo with a ragtag team of six incredibly underleveled Pokemon. That was it. The strongest trainer in this Sui region was done. Or was he? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as the creator of our entire world. I bent all of my passion and interest to its study. All the time I've spent pouring over the legends. Everything that I've done. You outsider. It's almost as if you were spat out of the space-time rift just to get in my way. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins? The eldritch presence icing your heart? Mm. 
What the hell is going on, you guys? What is he doing? What are you doing, dude? Oh my god, is it Giratina, bro? Are you... This is insane. He's got Giratina! Okay, this is so badass. Okay, this is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. That was a surprise. I will I will give you that. Palkia. What levels is Giratina? Level 70. Ah, we're fucked, aren't we? No, Palkia. Does this mean we're gonna have to fight all six of his Pokemon again? Come on, Drifloon! Hold on, last ditch effort. Last ditch effort. Why is Giratina listening to him? He must have somehow tamed Giratina because he's evil. He's a bad, evil boy. He's an evil Cynthia, yeah. Alright, this is all I got left. I could revive somebody, but honestly, Palkia is my best bet here. One shot him. No. Okay. Alright, rip. You were defeated in battle. Try again with a stronger team. Okay, is that it? Okay, alright. Well, let's evolve Drifloon. And then let's come back with a better team. I don't know if it was overconfidence from playing years of progressively easier and easier Pokemon games, but I thought all I needed to do to beat him was replace my Drifloon with Dialga. Well, I actually ended up doing worse the second time around and didn't even make it to Giratina. I actually ended up doing the dirty. I was getting a little impatient and I really wanted to kick Volo's ass. So I did what any desperate man would do. I assembled a full team of legendaries. Surely this is what we needed to win. Right? Oh! Alright, it's all up to Cresselia. Moonblast, super effective. Yes! Oh my fucking god, dude. That was the hardest Pokemon battle I've done in ages. Like, are you kidding me? I had to literally just use legendaries. Oh, that's so terrible. What? It's not dead? It has a second health bar! Yeah, at that moment my ego came crashing down to earth. I realized just how much of a mountain, how much of a hurdle this would be to hop over. And after multiple attempts to defeat the literal Satan of Pokemon, I felt crushed. I hadn't felt this way since the first time I saw this guy. So I went back to the drawing board. I decided to spend the rest of the night assembling a team that would make Volo rue the day he would be so bold as to challenge me. This was to be my finest hour. Yesterday was an extremely humbling experience in a Pokemon game. Yesterday we got absolutely annihilated by Volo, okay? Over and over and over again. I felt lost. I felt broken. But I wasn't going to take that beating lying down. No. I went back to the lab. I grinded levels for hours last night. I force fed my Pokemon so much grit dust, they're gonna be shitting chalk for weeks. I assembled a team that would beat Volo and Giratina. I assembled a team that would be their undoing. I am become death! So let's get to it, shall we? Garchomp, level 80. Decidueye, level 79. Snorlax, level 77. Palkia, level 79. Crobat, level 82. And last but not least, Sylveon, level 80. <sighs> I've got a shit ton of revives, max revives. I'm gonna use anything and everything I can. I am beating this guy right now. One by one, I was doing it. His Pokemon were crumbling at the feet of my team. We unfortunately still suffered a few casualties though. I knew that going into the fight with Giratina, I needed my entire team to be alive and ready. So I took an opportunity to max revive Snorlax and Sylveon. And with a strong style Leaf Blade, Decidueye finished off his Garchomp. Now, it was time to fight Giratina. 
All right, Volo's down. Volo's down. We have basically everyone alive. Decidueye is going to get absolutely annihilated first turn by Giratina, though. All right. Bring him out, Volo. Bring out the big boy. Wait, Sylveon comes, goes out? What? No, Decidueye should go out. Okay, Sylveon tanks that. Okay, this is the problem. He, he is obscured now. So what I'm going to do is actually swap to Snorlax. Because Snorlax has Ice Punch and can tank Giratina's attacks. Oh, he has Aura Sphere. I forgot he has Aura Sphere. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for a another Ice Punch. Okay. I think Snorlax dies here. I might be able to push through his first phase here, though. If I go, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. If I go Palkia Spatial Rend. I think we get his first phase down. Strong style spatial rend, 100%. All right, first phase down. Kill it! Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, this is it, you guys. This is it. This is the part I've never been able to beat. This is phase two here. He's alpha now. He's an absolute beast. Oh, fuck, dude. I, he might just absolutely... He might just kill Palkia. Okay, Palkia gets a chance here. Items... All right, I'm max reviving Snorlax. Palkia, you're just gonna have to die here. I'm sorry. Okay, he Dragon Claws kills Palkia. I think Sylveon might not make it though. Is he obscured right now? I don't think so. All right, Dazzling Gleam, strong style. Hopefully this takes down half his health. Nice. Okay, good damn, good damn. Okay, there's Shadow Force. Now he's obscured. This might kill. If this hits, this will kill and I'll win. I think it did it! Hit! Kill him! Yeah! Yes! Get Get Giratina! Get Yeah! Yeah! I had done it. I had overcome the most difficult challenge in any Pokemon game to date and it felt incredibly rewarding. I have to applaud Game Freak for going balls to the walls in this fight. Finally, having a difficult battle in a Pokemon game was incredibly refreshing. You have to work hard to beat essentially eight strong Pokemon, and I loved it. I have a feeling we're gonna be able to get Arceus now. Answer me then, Brando. Do you have some dream that propels you as I've had? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in the end, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. And now we use all the plates to summon Arceus. My flute's doing something. It's summoning him. Oh! It's the Ocarina of Time! So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! He's absolutely crazed. It's time, boys. It's time. It's Arceus time, baby. Actually, wait, what if he's like level 100 or something? Bring him out. Bring out the big boy. Let's see him. I play a song. Do I have enough PP? Oh yeah, I got enough PP. Don't worry. <laughs> Nothing happened. Wait, what? A message appeared on your Arc phone. Seek out all Pokemon. <laughs> 